All right, hey, what's going on there, everyone? Earthmaster checking in April 24th, 2020, 11.03 a.m. And just gonna do a quick earthquake video update. I know it's been a couple days uh, since I've gone on the stream and did an update. Uh, earthquake activity out here along the Western Pacific. Fair, fairly quiet. Um, a lot of this earthquake activity just about ready to drop off the globe here. These pink red color rings indicating older earthquake activity. Most of this taking place yesterday, um, and uh, we can go back even further and seeing that it was pretty active over there in the western part of the Pacific. Uh, that activity on the plate has since bounced back over here to the eastern side of the North American Pacific Plate conjunction over here. A lot of earthquake activity taking place once again in Idaho. Quite a few threes and lots and lots of twos and many, many unreported earthquakes in there as well. The latest earthquake here in a uh, interesting scenario is a 3.1 that struck near Ashland, Oregon. Uh, this earthquake struck just a short time ago at about two kilometers below the surface. Now quite a few folks reported feeling that earthquake there in Ashland. So um, quite a few sensitive folks out there. I don't know if I could feel a 3.1 or not, but uh, I guess with it being pretty shallow like that, um, the potential uh, is definitely there. Uh, I do want to go over here to the uh, USGS map here, 2.5 and above, showing you the earthquake activity in uh, in the Idaho region. Go ahead and zoom in here just a little bit. Still confined to just north or right on the Sawtooth Fault system there in Idaho. No major movement, but we, like I said, we've definitely seen an earthquake uptick today. Um, as quiet as activity quiets down on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, like I say, it just kind of bounces back and forth here with the uh, uh, the pressure gradients here between the two, or between this plate as a one, I should say. Um, at least, let's see here, what are we counting? 17 earthquakes here. This is the all magnitudes, but like I say, they just do not include, for whatever reason, the smaller microquakes that show up on our data stations there in Idaho. Uh, they just don't count them in for some reason. I don't know why. Of course, they are counting everything 2.5 and above, but they just don't seem to include anything under that. But I know for a fact there's definitely uh, a tremendous amount of earthquake activity under the 2.5 magnitude range there. So for whatever reason, uh, they, they just don't include it. Uh, a little bit of earthquake activity migrating to the north here, it looks like. Uh, well north of the area of interest, Looks like a 3.6 popped off there earlier. Um, well north of the uh, mentioned area down here near the Sawtooth Fault system. Sawtooth Fault area is going to be this red line right here. It looks as though, at least with this recent earthquake activity, um, it's kind of just, just to the east of it. Roughly about a mile or two um, since our last update video there a few days ago we were seeing earthquake activity directly on uh, and and around the sawtooth fault system there but now it looks like it's just kind of migrating to the east a little bit um, quite a bit actually there with uh, uh, quite a few earthquakes migrating there to the east and all this earthquake activity no doubt showing up on the Yellowstone National Seismograph stations here uh, go ahead and bring this up real quick and show you guys Let's see if I can get it. There we go. So yeah, this is just a little overview of Yellowstone National Park, the seismograph data stations that are there, picking up uh, a lot of activity from the Idaho earthquakes. You can see those uh, those markings there. You can zoom in a little bit. You guys can see here, mostly showing up over here in the western part, but also down towards the center uh, and up to the northeast as well picking up all these three pointers that have been popping off there in Idaho. Um, this kind of looks like an earthquake swarm occurring in Yellowstone, but those are not localized earthquakes. Those are indeed uh, the earthquake activity taking place there in Idaho. A lot of uh, three pointers, like I said, showing up on this, uh, on the uh, seismograph stations there in Yellowstone National Park. Uh, I do want to go back over here and check out the 
earthquake a little bit more in a little bit more detail here in uh, well, I kind of lost it here I'm trying to figure out where it went to okay we'll just go ahead and go over here to the uh, window capture here real quick and see if we can get that keyed up sometimes I like to show the overview satellite imagery of uh, of an earthquake and where it takes place at uh, the earthquake in question, that 3.1 that occurred near Ashland, is uh, pinpointed right here on the map. I do have the um, I do have the uh, locations there entered into that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in just real quick and show you guys the area here, Medford Well to the north. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of activity out there. Um, just a lot of forest, a lot of trees, but this here is where that specific 3.1 struck early this morning, or just, just a short time ago this morning. Of course, the uh, Cascades up there, the mountains, mountain range. This earthquake struck at about two kilometers below the surface, so relatively shallow. Um, I don't believe it's associated with the uh, Cascadia subduction zone, but it could be um, the result of pressure off here, off the west coast there, that's continuing to build up. Now, if this was a deep, like say, oh, I don't know, 100 miles or so deep or deeper and larger, then we would definitely be associating that with slippage along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. But that's just well. Um, well too shallow to be uh, I don't know where that's taking me out in some more desert land so yeah I mean there's what do we got out there Mount Ashland area I know there's definitely volcanoes up there there's Shasta Mount Shasta right there very visible on the satellite Im imagery that's this one right here of course, a hot spot of hot spot of volcanic activity all throughout this area, but I don't believe it's uh, associated at all with uh, any type of volcanic activity uh, for the be for the meantime. Taking a look at globally real quick here. Just want to run across the globe, see what's going on. Um, pretty much quiet. Little 5.4 out here in the Pacific. No. Uh, nothing to be concerned about that's quite typical we do see uh, periodically some fives popping off up here around this area and also to the north and east of there as well uh, deep earthquake activity older deep earthquake activity near Fiji and also south of Japan there on the uh, western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire but once again folks this is all pretty much older earthquake activity uh, as a renewed Pressure and movement is over here towards the east now with the, uh, like I said, the activity in Idaho, uh, 3.1 in Oregon. California, not popping off too much, pretty quiet, and that's kind of troublesome there. Um, I did see, let's go ahead and find this here real quick. There's a little bit of earthquake activity uh, taking place in Southern Cal, but not that much. Let me see here. I'm trying to get this thing. This thing's actually acting a little bit weird this morning. Well, I'll just go ahead and talk about it real quick. Uh, Ridgecrest region uh, still seeing aftershock activity this morning, and of course that's the area where they seen those uh, large earthquakes last year. It's 7, 4, and 7, 5, I believe. July 4th and July 5th. Um, but nothing major. Aside from that, it's just pretty quiet down there in Southern Cal right now, uh, which is probably not a good sign. But anyway, I uh, hope everyone's having a good day out there, folks. I'm going to jump off here. I do have to pick up my wonderful nephew today, so I probably won't be on here too much unless there's a major earthquake. And then, of course, anything, anything 6.0 and above, I try to get out notifications on that or any weird earthquakes like... Uh, like for example that 3.1 this morning there in inland uh, in Oregon just kind of a renewed reminder that uh, we're seeing a lot of pressure out here along the west coast and uh, 
that's uh, something to watch. You know, Idaho is just not calming down. It's still rocking and rolling like crazy. And uh, the seismograph stations here will show that. Let's see here. What have we got? Yellowstone picking up a little bit of earthquake activity there. That looks like it's localized. Uh, there in Madison, very sharp, very pointy, indicative um, data of a localized quake. I'll have to keep an eye on that region. Um, Southern California, relatively quiet here on this data station. Mendocino, California, a little spike. That's up here around my neck of the woods, Northern California. Um, and here's Idaho. They're kind of doing something with that data coming, coming in kind of weird, but there's a little spike of an earthquake and I'm sure there's another one there too but uh, I might have to change stations up here I'm not for sure why it's acting uh, weird like that but uh, it is what it is anyway folks hope everyone has a good day I will chat you guys a little bit later please stay safe out there and, um, and you know just be prepared peace out